Hi, this is Aaron with iRoots.org. I wanted to bring to you a news story that's all over the internet. I think it's important that we share this and put these numbers in perspective. Two days ago, Senator Lindsey Graham, speaking at the Easley Rotary Club, if I got that right, he seemingly inadvertently shared some numbers that may have been top secret. He said, quote, that we've killed 4,700 with drones. Quote, sometimes you hit innocent people, and I hate that, but we're at war, and we've taken out some very senior members of Al-Qaeda. It's worth noting that it's estimated that only 2% of those killed by U.S. drones are actually high-level members of Al-Qaeda or other terrorist groups. So we know that we're killing a lot of civilians, and it's already been documented how many children have been killed. You can see that at the link below as well. What's important about this is that if Senator Lindsey Graham doesn't back away from these numbers, it seems that he's revealing some numbers that have yet to be re revealed by the CIA to the public, which will probably shortly be confirmed. So apparently 4,700 killed by U.S. drones overseas. If that's true, that means that more people have been killed by U.S. drones than have been killed in all of American history by overseas terrorism or by overseas groups coming into America. So well more than those killed on 9-11 and beyond, even including the numbers of domestic terrorism by, say, uh, the Oklahoma City bombing and, and other, other acts like that. So now we know that these numbers are really huge. The question is, what do we do with this perspective? Do we as a society start to wrestle with the fact that killing innocent civilians must be some sort of recruitment tool for Al-Qaeda? That's the kind of information I want people to take, take a look at seriously. So take a look at the link below at iroots.org. There's a, a list of links to a lot of different sources on the right and the left where you can read about this information. Um, I think it's important that we do what we can to spread this information and get people thinking critically about this policy so that we can perhaps change it. Thanks a lot.